What is up everybody, it's Grim here, hope you're all good. Now I know 6.2 is released and I know I should be out there saying, oh, watch my video where I farm gold in a super secret spot of an area that's only just been released that I know about and nobody else does, or I found this super secret something, blah, 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 whatever drama shit that we can come up with on YouTube. We love the drama, we love the hype. But uh, I'm not going to do that today, although I am, I will be perfectly honest, I have done that myself. You know, we all have on YouTube. Everybody wants those views, everybody wants those subs. But I'm not going to talk about that today. What I'm going to talk about is actually something that's been out for a little while now. That we all hyped up, everybody talked about, it was the big thing, and nobody talks about it now. <laughs> nobody talks about it. Not even in-game have I seen people chatting about it recently. And that is the WoW token. Does this WoW token need to be revived? Do I need to go get the paddles? Does it need some mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? Because this looks fucking dead to me. The WoW token looks dead to me. I went on the auction house today. I've got a couple of these already banked up, but Cuddles at the moment, she's kind of, she's super busy at work, and she's like, ah, I'm not, I'm not playing enough WoW to justify a subscription. So like, yeah, but you do still like logging in, so why don't I have a look, see if we can get you a token, and go from there. So I had a look, and it was pretty steep, I, it was about 50,000 gold, and I was like, I don't really want to pay that, but hey, if it means she can play WoW, then I'm happy to do it. So anything for an easy life, gents, you must know that, anything for an easy life. But um, I went on to auction house, clicked, even though it was 50,000, clicked on it, I thought, yeah, I'll buy one, and nothing. There are no tokens available on the auction house, and I have tried now over the course of this month, and there has never been a token on there every time I've tried. And if it was a once-off occasion, I would be like, okay, cool, it's just one of those things, you know, demand is obviously so high that it's not on there. But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think the problem... And there was a problem that was identified at the time of you know, the token being born. And a lot of people were Elvine. A lot of people turned around and went, do you know what the problem is? People that are spending real money. So you're spending $20, 20 euros, 15 pounds, whatever it may be, are going to want a certain level. They're going to want a return on investment. The people buying the token have a certain idea in their mind of what to you know what to expect so for instance if i'm selling a whale token i may want something like seventy thousand gold back but yet somebody buying the token for 30 days with a game time remember that isn't going to want to spend more than say thirty thousand. so there's a huge discrepancy between somebody that's using in-game gold to purchase something and somebody that is using real hard cash and over time, that has become more and more apparent. Now we're up to, I think when it started out, we were at 25, 30,000 for a WoW token in Europe. Now it's approaching 60,000 because the price goes up and up and up because they want people to actually buy the tokens with real money. You know, they need people to buy these tokens because if nobody buys them, nobody can sell them, the whole system collapses. And that's what's happening at the moment, in my opinion. Blizzard need to relook at this. They need to go back to the drawing boards. They need to adapt the WoW token. And if you want my honest opinion, love it or hate it, I think a system that could really work very well is that of Guild Wars 2's gem system. Now, bear with me. If you've never played Guild Wars 2, here's what it is. Basically, you spend your money on gems. All right. So, for instance, you would if you wanted eight thousand gems, it would cost you a hundred dollars. If you wanted eight hundred gems, it cost you ten dollars. Blah, blah blah, and so on and so forth. Now, the difference being is these gems are not a one-trick pony. Uh, you can actually do a lot with them. Now, if we take them into a WoW context, it would be great to see various different ways of using these gems. Now, for instance, you have the WoW store. And on the WoW store, you've got stuff like the level 90 character boost. You have got things like uh, the game time, the WoW token, what we're talking about. You have got mounts, you have got vanity items, you have got pets. There could be a whole host of things. In Guild Wars, there is a thing called the gem store. And you can go from Monday things like colors to bits of cosmetic armor. If WoW embraced this, they could really do a lot. A lot of, say, the older... Uh, PvP sets, things like that. You could, you know, there you go, buy them for gems if you want. I, for one, certainly, there's a... Ah, oh, God, I want to say the Prideful Gladiators Hex... Fellweave 
cloth. It's a, it's a gladiator's helm. It looks really cool. And um, I would gladly pay for it with gems. So, here's how the system would work. Somebody would go and buy... You know, let's say they spend... Let's say they're crazy. They spend $100 on 8,000 gems. So, they then get those gems themselves. I've got my gems. And I can do with them as I please. If I want to put them on the auction house... Now, you could still have the locked down price of... You know, Blizzard set what that price is. Rather than people undercutting each other, you have Blizzard say, okay, look, gems go for this. That's the trade price of gems. People can then go, look, I've got 8,000 gems. I'm going to put 500 of those gems on the auction house. And that's going to give me some raw gold back because I need some gold. All right? Boom. So that's one, one thing I can do. If I can get gold back. But I choose how I invest that. Other bit is I've still got 7,500 gems. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go look at the auction now. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go and look at, say, you know, the WoW store. And I'm going to, okay, look. So for 4,000 gems, it's, that's going to give me a level 90 character boost. Well, I'll do that. I will do that. I'll get some 4,000 gems, and I'll boost that character 90. Oh, you know, or for 4,000 gems, I could buy 30 days worth of game time. Okay, I might do that. Or I could buy myself some, you know, some battle pets. I can buy myself some vanity armor. Or why not have it that I can go? Okay, so for you know, two thousand eight hundred gems, I can buy ah, I can buy the Iron Sky Reaver. I can buy a mount. You know, if you have the gem system, it opens up far more doors than this WoW token. Far more people would be interested. Nothing's pay to win. You can play the game as you want right now, and you'd still be fine. But it would keep the it would keep people interested because if they can exactly like the WoW token buy these gems in game with their in game gold from somebody that's paid real money for them, then they can stock up slowly over time. You know, oh, I've got. I'm slowly building up. I'm slowly going to get my you know two thousand eight hundred gems so that. I can then get my mount and I can buy an Iron Sky Reaver for no, you know for free because I've invested this time in game bought these gems over time and now I've got enough to buy this mount you know it's just it broadens out what you can do with these tokens because at the moment the wow token to me is dead and it's not going anywhere fast a broader cosmetic gem type thing that I can pay for in-game services would be amazing. Now, even go so far as to have, and you might want to set this really high, but you can buy game services with it. Anything that can be paid for, you can buy with gems. So, you know, character names, race changes, all of this kind of thing. It would keep this gems market really vibrant, really alive, because there'd be a lot of things people could still do with them. Because a 30-day WoW token doesn't mean shit to me. As a buyer of the WoW tokens, I'm not prepared to pay the prices that is required to get people to buy the token. So immediately it's failed. The system doesn't work. But uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that would be the beginning of the end? That would be the death now of WoW? If it did go down this kind of gems Guild Wars 2 route? I, for one, played Guild Wars 2 and didn't worry about gems at all. Didn't interest me in the slightest. Now, in-game, you had the ability to trade in in-game gold to get gems back. So that's fine. I like that system. If I want to buy some because I want to get a mount or I want to get a cosmetic item, that's fine. Let me do that. Let people play the way they want to play. But um, I just think this would be so much cooler. There's so much more you could do with this. The WoW token is a one-trick pony that, sadly, I think has died. I don't think... I don't think it'd be resuscitated. I think Blizzard need to relook at this. A cynical side of me wants to say that Blizzard brought this out when they did because they had a slump in subs after 6.1 and the release of Ward, and they were like, this will recoup some of that cost. And then whatever we get you know, subsequent to that, well, that's just gravy. You know. I hope that's not the case, but part of me thinks it is. But what do you guys think? Would you like to see this gem kind of system brought in, where you can pay for more of Blizzard services with these gems that you don't have to pay real cash for? Or, you know, let me know. Is there a game out there that you think has got a better system for this? You know, is there a better way to do this? Or would you just prefer it to be pure, like vanilla style Don't have any of this extra bollocks that i got to pay cash for. I don't want WoW to slowly go down the road of pay to win. 
Let me know, guys. It'd be interesting here. I, I for one, will nail my colours to Mars now and say I would love to see a gem system implemented where if you don't want to be part of it, you don't have to be, but if you are, it can actually make your life easier. It complements the things you want to do rather than is pay to win, rather than is this one-trick pony that the WoW token is right now. But that's me done, guys. Hope you have a great day, and I will chat to you all later. Have a good one.